Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix pretty much everything in the game that can get broken. So we'll start off right here. We have a broken fuel filter. You just use your hands, and you can pick it up, take a new one, pop it back in. Alright, next up here we have the generator, and there's going to be some screws in the back. Once you unscrew those, you can go to your freehand, select it, and drop it, take a new one, pop it back in, select your screwdriver again, and then screw in the two screws. Then we'll go to the big power generator here. So you'll go back to your freehand, and you just click on the buttons and drop them off. And then you put in the new one, you just pick it up, and click on it. So you just put it right back in. And then next up here we have the um, big fuel tank, which actually um, slowly loses fuel over time if you don't get this uh, taken off at least. Um, you're going to switch to the wrench, and you're going to unscrew this hose here. Once you pull it off, it'll stop leaking. So we'll go back to the free hand and select that. Drop that. We'll grab a new one. And then go back to the wrench and screw that in. So for the dump truck, we're going to need a battery, piston, and fuel filter. And you'll need to open up this little side compartment here. For the fuel filter, you can just use your hand and take that off. Grab a new one, put that back on. For the battery, you're going to go to the screwdriver, and you'll have to unscrew two screws, one on each corner, or side I guess. Go back to the free hand, select that, and drop it. Then we'll grab a new battery, put that in, go back to the screwdriver, and we'll screw both of those down. And one thing I've noticed that you need to do, so normally you can just use a crowbar on this, but when it's backed all the way up against um, the conveyor belt hopper, it does not allow you to, to move to, to take it out. So you'll actually need to start it and move it forward just a little bit. I just moved it forward just to make it easier to to do, but then you pull out your crowbar and it should detach very easily. So that, that was one that kind of got me earlier. You'll go back to your freehand and put it back in and that'll be the dump truck. Then we'll go over to the conveyor belt hopper or container I guess. You use the crowbar, pop that off, grab a new one, pop that on, super easy. We'll go to the um, conveyor belt itself, and for that you just need the crowbar, and you just click on them, take out the bucket, grab a new one, pop it back on, pretty easy. Onto the Glacier Creek here, we'll go to the wrench. You'll have to unscrew a few screws here. Once you have those, you can switch to your free hand, take the motor and throw it out of the way, grab a new one, pop it in. Same thing, just screw it back on with the front two screws. And then once you got that, we'll grab the plant spring. And there's gonna be one over here. So if you take the crowbar, Pop that out, grab a new one, put it in. Pretty easy. Now we'll go to the Frankenstein here. So if you hop up on top here, this is where the battery is held at. So you'll have to unscrew these. Again, it's two, one on each side. Switch to your free hand, throw that out. Grab your new one, pop it in. 
screw that back down. Then we got in the back here, we got our track. So we'll crowbar on that. And we have the excavator track. So we'll pop that back in. There's nothing you need to do for that. Then if you crouch down here, you can see we'll need the cordless screwdriver. And you'll need to go around the outside and unscrew each one of these. Alright, once you have that done, you can take your free hand, take that, that's the uh, cog cover. Then you can pull out your bad cog, grab a new one, put that in. There is a three outer and one inner cog. And the inner one has a hole in it, which I guess you can see here. If I don't drop it. And then you can take the cog, cog cover I should say, go back to your cordless screwdriver and screw those all back in. Gold nuggetator here. And then this will need the crowbar, pop this one off, toss that out behind us. And then we'll put this one on here, just clicking on it. Then there's also, if you take out your wrench, you can unscrew this. and unscrew this side as well. Go to your hand, select that, throw it off to the side, grab your new one, click it into place, and then screw that back on. Screw the other side as well. And this is kind of hard to see from this side, but right here, there's another thing you can unscrew with the wrench. And then take your hand, take that, throw it off to the side, grab a new one. Put that in, go back to your wrench again, and then screw that on. And then lastly, there's one here. If you just use your free hand, you can take it off and replace that one. For the wave table, go back to our wrench here. Unscrew just one side. Grab our free hand, throw that, grab a new one, put it on, screw it back in with the wrench. And you're good to go. The Magnetite separator has the same one thing on it. So you just use the wrench, grab your free hand, select it, move it off, grab your new one, put it into place, back to your wrench, screw that back in. And we'll start with the water trailer here. So this can break its pump, the pump filter. So you just grab a new one, pop it right back in, easy fix. Or mobile fuel tank, you can take your wrench, unscrew on the top here, go to your hand, select it, throw it off to the side, grab a new one, put that in, go to your wrench, and screw that back on. And then we'll bring our jack over to this side, pop that into the car, and just jack it up. Then we'll go to our cordless screwdriver and unscrew, there's five screws on the tires. Once you've got those, you can go to your hand, select the tire, throw it off, grab your new one, and pop that back in. And then just screw all those screws back in. Once you've done that, you can let the jack back down. 
For this, you're going to use the screwdriver, or crowbar, excuse me. Grab that piece off. Put a new one on. Tire changing is the same thing. You grab your jack, put it under there, jack it up a little bit. You take your cordless screwdriver. Unscrew the pipe. Then you can take off your tire and put on a new one. And screw those back in. So there's a screw on both sides on here. It's kind of hard to see. But you'll unscrew this. And unscrew this side. Grab your hand, throw the drill out of the way, grab your new one, put it in, and then now this might be a little easier to see, but you'll screw in straight from the side and then screw in from this side. Then for the battery, that is right in here. Fuel filter is right in here. Same thing, just grab it, throw it off to the side. Screwdriver, unscrew the two spy sides. Grab your hand again, throw that to the side. Grab your fuel filter. Grab a battery. and you can screw that back in. Next up we have the small excavator here, which is actually the exact same as the big excavator um, for stuff that you can replace. So there's gonna be two hydraulic hoses, one on each side, and you'll need the wrench you have to unscrew two spots. And you can grab your hand, grab that, throw it off to the side, grab a new one, pop it on. Grab your wrench again, screw that in. And screw that side. And it would be the same thing for this side as well. Then we'll go to the back here. We'll grab our crowbar. We'll pop off the excavator track that's bad. Just throw that to the side. Grab a new one. Throw that on. Again, this is the same thing as the other one, so you're gonna have to use your cordless screwdriver and just unscrew these all the way around. Once you get that done, you can replace the inner and outer cogs and then put the cap back on. And the excavators have teeth, which if you take the crowbar, you can remove. And just throw those to the side. Grab your new tooth. Pop that in. As you can see, that's the only straight one. All those ones are damaged as well. All right, and then for the battery, we got right here on the side. And then for the fuel filter, just in the back here. Again, you can just grab it and take it off. For the bulldozer, same thing with removing the tracks. Crowbar, take that out. The bulldozer has a different track instead of the excavator track, it's the bulldozer track. And then here, same thing with the excavator and Frankenstein, just unscrew these. Once you get all of them unscrewed, you can replace the inner and outer cogs. And then this also has 
a hydraulic hose on the side. So if you equip a wrench, you can take that off and then take it off on the bottom. Go to your hand, grab it, throw it to the side, put a new one, go back to the wrench and screw it on. And do the same up top. D-rocker here. So if you have the wrench, you can unscrew. There's a screw on the side. This is the um, D-rocker hose. And then up towards the top, there's a second screw. Grab your hand, grab that, throw it to the side, grab your new one, pop that on, screw that in. And then screw this side in as well. This one's a little harder to get to, but in the inside of the D-rocker, there is this screw if you unscrew this. This is the D-Rock jet. And there's just one screw, you can just grab that, throw it off to the side, grab your new one. And you can actually put it on through the metal there. Alright, on to the big excavator. Again, we got a broken track, use the crowbar. Pop that off, grab your new track, pop that in. Same thing here, unscrew all of the screws. Then you can replace your inner and outer cogs once you take off the cog cover. It also has the hydraulic hoses on both sides over here. And then it also has the teeth, which you can remove and replace as well. And then if you jump up on top, it's the same as the small excavator. Open this, you got your battery, two spots to unscrew and screw in there. Then if you jump in the back, you can open this cover, get to your fuel filter. And then here we have the big electric water pump. And if we go to the wrench, we can unscrew these two screws here. And we'll be replacing the motor or big electric water pump as it's called. So we'll select that, throw it to the side, put that back on, and then we'll screw these back in. And then on the top here we have the big water pump pipe. So we'll take this off using the wrench. back in and do the same on the top. As for the trommel, you'll need a crowbar to detach the chain. Throw that to the side, grab your new trommel chain and that just pops on. And then same thing with the roller, you need your crowbar. Click on it once, it pops right off, grab your new one, click on it, pop it back in. There is six rollers on this, so keep that in mind if you have to replace it, it's quite a few of them. And then with the diesel water pump, it's actually the exact same part, so you just unscrew the top and bottom here and put in the new pipe. 
This is the electric water pump. And this, if you go to your hand, there's actually a fuse right here that might blow. And you grab a new one and put it in. And then there's also, on the back side, on the right corner, there. Take off that pump, pump filter, and put on a new one. Then for the mobile wash plant, we have the tire, which we've already replaced a few of those. We've got this engine, which if you go to the wrench, you can unscrew these just like the other engines. Again, there's two screws on this. Grab your hand, grab the engine, throw it to the side, grab your new one, pop it in, screw those back down. If you get up on top, you can, I guess you don't need to be up top, but you can replace the wash plant jet, or mobile wash plant jet, I guess, by using the wrench to unscrew this side. Grab your hand, and throw that to the side, grab your new one, put that in, and screw that back on. Then for the duplex jigs, use a crowbar. Go pop the duplex jig off, grab a new one, pop it back in. And then you'll need a crowbar as well for the engine, electric engine. Just detach that, grab a new one, Pop that back in. Duplex jigs are pretty easy. For the um, lander, you'll have the engine fan belt and the planter hose, which you'll need the um, crowbar to pop this one out. Throw it to the side. Grab your new one. Pop that in. Then you need the wrench. Unscrew this. And that you only need one screw. You can grab the new one, pop that in, screw it back on. As for the pickup truck, normally you'd have a hood on it, but I broke mine. But the fuel filter, right here, you get your battery over here. And then you may have to jack it up and replace a tire, which we've replaced a few of those. So you should know the same uh, general idea on that. And as for the shaker, you take the wrench. Go unscrew this hydraulic hose here. And up top here. And then go to your hand, grab this, throw it to the side. If you're wondering why my mind is blue, it's just, it's reinforced. I just had an extra one laying around, so. And then you'll just Screw this back in. If I can get it, it's kind of finicky sometimes. There we go. See, it's like not even in the right spot, but yeah, you screw that back on. Do the same thing up top. And then, for some reason on mine, there is a glitch right now where there's no spring here right now, but if I pull out my crowbar, it says detach. When I detach it, now it shows up. But, yeah, you'll grab a new spring. Excuse me, grab a new spring. And just pop that on. Oh, and also the, the dump, the front end loader. So this has hydraulic hoses up here. So you'll need the wrench and unscrew both of those. And screw that back on. And same thing on the other side. 
and then in the back is your hand is where you'll find your, your fuel, fuel filter and battery and then on the light trailer you may have to replace the tire and you may also have to replace the fuel filter and battery and lastly this part, I forget what this is called, but rotator hydraulic. So you use the crowbar, detach that, grab a new one, and pop that back in. Now I believe we replaced everything, or at least went over how to replace everything. Some of them we didn't go over exactly because like the excavator, it's it's the exact same as the other excavator and don't need to show you how to replace every single wheel on all the trailers because they're all the same. But I hope you guys got something out of this, especially with the uh, dump truck and the piston. Because that, that got me for a while. And if you don't know that, you know, you're, you're going to keep sitting there trying to figure out why you can't replace the piston. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.